It's time for our technology segment and joining us now is Africa 54 tech reporter Paul Deho with some important news on food, Paul. Hello, hello Esther. The world produces enough food waste to feed as many as 2 billion people each year. According to a United Nations study, a tech startup has a goal to distribute that food to those who need it the most. Matt Debo has the details. On an island in the San Francisco Bay, a small company has been quietly taking on one of the greatest challenges we face, the future of food in an age of climate change and massive waste. And they're approaching the problem through technology. What we're trying to do is lead a resource revolution to be able to change the thinking from waste into one of recovery. Timothy Childs is a virtual reality pioneer who developed machine vision equipment for NASA's space shuttle. For him, tackling the food crisis requires examining the problem in novel ways. We have to look at it systemically from the endpoints to the outpoints and revolutionize each one of those and take that solution to every market that has that particular waste. The first target for disruption? Fruits and vegetables that would otherwise be left to rot. The solution? Advanced drying systems. What that technology allows us to do is to be able to take all sorts of agricultural inputs and be able to dry them in a way that's much faster and holds better nutrients than other systems. Cosmetically challenged apples are making their way through the dryer today to end up as a product in the company's line of foods. But making chips is just the beginning. What Treasury really is about is proving the ideas by building the first prototypes and then piloting those. And they are examining every step in the food process for treasure to extract. Some of it gets converted into energy that we're actually using to run the machines with which we are treating the food in the first place. They aim to deploy these systems across the globe. But first, everything is simulated. We design buildings, processes, and equipment in computer graphics and we test drive them inside of virtual reality. And from virtual reality into something that tastes great. Matt Dibble for VOA News, San Francisco. That's a today's a Tech a Reporter. Back to you, Esther. Thank you so much, Paul. Be sure to join Paul and Diho each Wednesday for another tech segment right here on Africa 54. And that's our show for today. Good night from Washington.